Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Malik Jo 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. Uh, this is uh, one of the continuation series of my Armen backup and restore scenarios uh, series of videos where in our previous uh, sessions we have seen Armen backup strategy and different types of backups and also we have seen the first uh, recovery scenario that is uh, loss of all my uh, data files and then how to restore it when you have a level 0 or full backup or the auto backup and uh, in this today's session we are going to check about uh, this particular the second restore scenario the control file lost if you lose your control file then uh, how you can restore it using your auto backup or uh, you know the the backed up control file uh, using our man so that we are going to see it now so before i get started with the today's practical session uh, if you are new to my channel always go back to youtube and search for malik 034 and then please do subscribe if you like my videos always uh, don't forget to share like and comment and if you missed out my previous videos you can always refer them in my youtube channel okay let's get started with the today's session and the loss of control file uh, you know how you can restore it using your auto backup so what I can do now, so uh, I will check my uh, control file uh, location first. So let me check the name. I already connected to my database here and uh, control file. Okay, these are my control file uh, location. So I'm going to uh, 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 delete these control files. So I'm going to do RM and RM. I'm going to fire it at worst level. Exit. Okay, both the control files are gone now. So I'll connect back to a Oracle. I'll do set immediate. You can see the control file cannot open specified control file. Unable to open the file. No such a file or directory. So what I'll do? I'll kill my ASM instance. Now you cannot do any operations uh, since uh, you know. Uh, your control file has gone and then you know it will not allow you to do any of the operation so i will do kill minus nine or you can do abort your uh, you know database is down now so you try to log into database and try to start the instance it will not start start up it will start your instance because you have a p file and it will start the instance and when it try to mount my database and it will read control file and then it is unable to find the control file and then it will throw out an error error in identifying control file check alert log for more information right so if i do select instance underscore name comma status from v dollar instance you can see dev db and it started instance is started but it is not mounted psf and ef grep yes mount right so your database instance is just started and unable to mount because unable to identify the control file because i have removed manually uh, the both the control files right you can see here rm both the control files i have removed here so now the restore scenario is very very simple so i have my uh, rmn prompt here i connected to rmn rmn target class it connected dev db and you can see not mounted it just started i can do list backup i already taken couple of backups okay uh failure of list command database not mounted so uh, if you do list command also will not work because instance is just mounted and you will not be able to uh, you know uh, list your backup information so i already had my session opened here uh, before i uh, drop my this control files i already checked all this data file list backup information and i have a couple of backups and i have a couple of information here so i can quickly uh, go and do the uh, restore uh, you know the command is very very simple you can do uh, you know startup no mount already database is no mount restore control file from your auto backup go back here Oh, sorry, two times copied. I will remove it. Okay. Restore control file from auto backup. You can see here output file and this output file and recovery destination area this one and database name is this one and this is a channel auto backup. It, it found my auto backup and this is my auto backup and found it in recovery area and then you know. Uh, search with a percentage of not attempting to because db id was not set 
and then you know control file restore from auto backup completed and output file this one and this one so if i do check exit ll you can see my control file and this is a date stamp and the other uh, multiplex control file is here ll you can see you got all both of your control file and now you can do a uh, mount database alter database mount either you can do it in sql prompt or you can do it in armen prompt you know both the way it works i connected to armen alter database mount database mounted right perfect so then i will go restore database and recover database okay the list of catalog file these are the files and you know these are the data files these are the backup is it has done catalog and it has done uh, it started restoring all these data files go back now and next command is recover database and if you check this catalog files and you know these are rk logs it has cataloged and this is auto backup it has cataloged and you know started restoring all your data files it has done the restore now right so then i will do recover database okay it started recovering it started applying all the sequence sequence 19 20 21 22 23 okay so almost done it applied all the lark logs okay recovery is finished and the next command is alter database open so the the point here is you try to open database without reset log alter database open you just try to do it it will throw an error since you have restored your control file you have to open your database with the reset log alter database open must use a reset log or no reset log option for the database open right so whenever you do your control file restore and you know you have to open with reset logs right so let me do with the alter database open reset log okay database opened and uh, i will go back to my sql prompt okay so i'll do select name comma open underscore mode from v dollar database okay dev db and read write archive archive log list you can see it has reset my database and started with fresh archive logs starting with the one and then if i can do db incursion right db incursion the new incursion might be started it should start new incursion whenever you start a uh, database with reset log i will do this one you can see here i got three i already captured before uh, start of this session i have this one this particular you can see i had one and two only two incursion now i got the third incursion and then i will just uh, okay so this formatting is uh, quite uh, okay it should start with the parent right okay what i'll do i'll just go here okay this is same as my first one and this one i will go here and next the third one right so you can see here today 21st september it started with the new incursion 21st september 2020 and this is incursion and this is the current both are like you know earlier the current one was you know when i started my database and 15th of august and now today 21st of august i started with the open reset log and it started with a new incursion that become current and this is a id and you know uh, if if the new incursion started means your all backup become invalid so that is one way and uh, you can verify your uh, uh, both the 
control files by at the database level again database you can see your control file one control file two both the control files are got restored okay so with this particular uh, restoring your control file in my standalone database i am done with this particular lab session uh, i quickly show uh, the same restoration of control file in my asm uh, oracle restart service database or in my react database in my next session uh, thank you guys